Zuckerberg back on the hot seat this morning. The CEO of Facebook will testify in Capitol Hill about the tech giant's cryptocurrency, Libra. Here's part of what he will say in his opening statement. We have that statement. He will say, I believe this is something that needs to get built, but I understand we're not the ideal messenger right now. We've faced a lot of issues over the past few years, and I'm sure people wish it was anyone but Facebook putting this idea forward. Joining us right now is the CEO of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse. Brad, it's good to see you again. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Maria. It's good to see you again. Well, first, explain Ripple so that our audience understands your standpoint and where you're coming from. You're, you're, you're opening the first Washington, D.C. office to focus on blockchain and cryptocurrency regulation. Tell us about Ripple. So Ripple is an enterprise software company. We sell technologies to banks. And in many ways, if I think about that opening statement from Mark Zuckerberg, we agree that the difference is the technologies he's talking about are already in the market today. You know, Ripple's a U.S. company that has been deploying these technologies for years. We have over 200 customers globally. And uh, the good news is we agree with the vision. I think we probably disagree with how do we get there. But Ripple, from its earliest days, has invested in the U.S. as the kind of centerpiece. And our announcement today about opening the office here and adding Craig Phillips, a very senior guy from U.S. Treasury, to the board of directors is all demonstration of our continued investment with uh, policymakers and regulators globally. So, so what's your take on, on Libra then? I mean, should Facebook be the one to bring this? Uh, Omid Malik is here yeah. from Farbahar Partners. And I mean, you made a really important question early when we were talking about Facebook's plans. And you said that the key question for the lawmakers to ask is... Why are they doing this? What's the end game for Facebook? Like anything they get into, it's obviously to acquire more data, uh, which they can then in turn sell to customers. So they know all your biogra biographical information. Now they're going to know how you spend your money. Brad, look, if you do a good job, what's going to end up happening is Facebook is just going to buy you. <laughs> well, look, I, I don't know how to speculate on you know, acquisitions. What I do know is that at the foundation of any financial service is trust. <laughs> And I think even by Facebook's own admission, you know, that they are operating from a current trust deficit. How they got here and whether or not it's fair, the reality is, and they acknowledge it, there's a trust deficit. And I think any financial service, you have to have that foundation of trust. So I think the, the timing is interesting to see Facebook lead on this. Uh, you know, I thought another interesting nugget of their testimony was, or Mark Zuckerberg's testimony was, that they're, you know, helping America's leadership, yet they set Libra up in Switzerland. Now, there's reasons why I know they did that, but it's a little bit awkward to, on one hand, say, when they're trying to rebuild trust, you can't, on one hand, say, hey, we're going to extend America leadership, yet set it up in Switzerland. That's incredible. Why are they setting it up in Switzerland? Well, there has been, and I think one of the opportunities for the U.S., there has been a little bit of regulatory lack of clarity, particularly with the SEC. And the SEC okay. has had a really challenging job. Uh, you know, they came out and said two technologies of Bitcoin and Ether are not securities, but kind of stopped there. And so that has, I think, created the dynamic where some companies have looked overseas uh, for more regulatory clarity. Brad, it's great to have you this morning. Thanks so much. We, we've got to have you back to talk about the growth of Ripple uh, at another time. Brad Garlinghouse, good to see you, sir. Thank you.